Don't mind me, I just cut my friends. Hello, hello, lovely friends and sisters. So now it's currently phase two. It means we have to get out of the house to work. Like finally, we still need to keep our mask on. So if you can't seem to get your makeup right without smudging all over your face mask, watch. I'm Jarrah, your makeover coach. Tired of smudging makeup? Don't worry, cause in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can wear your mask and still look fresh and pretty in makeup. So you know how we wear our mask up to our nose here, right? And don't forget, we are still exposing our brows and our eyes. Let's not neglect them. And in a while, I'll be showing you how to achieve a fresh finish without using foundation. Let's start with skincare. So after washing my face, I'm starting with this Paula's Power Liquid that I got recently. <clears throat> this one is by Cos RX. This is like a mild exfoliation lotion before I use it with my toner. I pump a few drops and I spread it all over my face. Make sure to cover every surface so that it can work its magic, I hope. Don't forget under your jaw and I pat it in. Remember to avoid the eye area. Normally, toner should come before lotion, but this toner is different. So I don't want it to get wiped off, I just want it to get absorbed into my skin. I use after the pores liquid. So this comes in a spray bottle and I just spray it. And I pat it in. So I make sure to cover the whole of my face. This is an amazing toner and I will share why in my next video. The polish and toner, I seal everything in with a water-based gel moisturizer. It's a really huge chop. I cannot finish using and it's so light, I'm just going to spam it on. Then I pat it in. Make sure to cover all areas of your face. So now we come to the last essential skincare step, especially after using exfoliation product is your sunscreen this is a must because our skin is more fragile if we apply exfoliation in the day we definitely do not want the uv to damage our skin this is by dr jack can i tell you a secret i got this tube of sunscreen in the gym i know this brand and therefore i became the new owner that's why i love my gym hey i never said i was perfect you can pm me which gym after the video Nah, I'm just kidding. Let me know below if you have come across the same situation as me. Sunscreen. We apply it enough to cover the face. I'm going to emphasize more on this pigment that I have here because I don't want the sun to make it grow. Remember to do it on your forehead. Avoiding the eye areas. You can even use the sunscreen on your neck for double protection. So in case you're wondering why am I emphasizing the Paula's liquid exfoliation product for this video it's because if I'm not going to use a foundation this product will help me achieve a smooth and glowy texture I really like this sunblock because it is not greasy it color corrects and it's good for sensitive skin and it's 50 SPF full protection now you know why right we move on to makeup so in order to achieve a smudge free look while wearing a mask I'm just going to use a concealer right now no foundation I'm just using my fingers to cover this pigment that I have here. You can even use your brush, something that looks like this, a fluffy brush, and then you kind of blend it by pressing it in gently. You want to avoid too much pressure and too much product because it will make you look less natural. So if I'm using my fingers, I'm just going to lightly dab it in and make sure that it is covered enough. Right now, I want to use the concealer and blend it on my eyes. I'm going to start from out to upwards and get closer. I don't have much, but you just need to cover what you need to cover, okay? The same for the other eye. If you're using a brush, you just kind of do this light tapping motion. If you have a lot of redness under your nose, use some concealer and lightly cover these areas, like here. You can even like swipe it lightly and blend. Note that the areas that I choose to conceal are the ones that come with the least contact when you wear your mask. If you feel like there's nothing to conceal, you can just skip some blusher to add color, I recommend a cream blush. I'll be using the NYX in Tea Rose. Using my fingers, I'll just dab it very high up onto my cheek area. 
so it can be seen above the mass. But honestly, I prefer to skip the blush and I focus more on my eyes. If you have followed the above steps properly, at least when we remove our mask, show everyone our face while we are eating, we will still look pretty decent with that smooth skin and glow, even without blusher. Now this step is important when you wear a mask, powder, because you want your makeup to be set into your skin. I recommend using a transparent one so it doesn't stain your mask. So this is by Laura Mercier and it's kind of transparent. I guess it doesn't come with a sponge so I'm just going to use my own sponge and I swirl it from the cap that has powder and I dab and press it into my skin just apply light pressures and gently press in so you can see that I have locked the makeup and the oils in the powder finish with a setting spray I'm using the Palladio Matte Finish just spray it evenly across and then wait for it to dry Alright now the makeup setting spray has dried, I'm just going to show you close up how my skin looks like. The overall finish looks light and fresh and which is what I want. Alright so let's move on to the brows. Because we wear a mask very often, our eyes and our brows are the most important features that people keep seeing. So it looks like this. And that's why I would want to emphasize more on my brows and my eyes so that when people look at me I still look good. So for my brows, I'm using Mistine and it comes with a gel portion and a pencil at this side. So I'm just going to coat my brows with the gel. And I just comb it with a brush. Spread the colour out evenly. And then I'm using this from Eat Skin. It's a brow pencil which I have just sharpened and it is a little bit of a reddish brown colour. Fill in any gaps. Moving on, I will just add a little bit of contour to my nose. I'm using this same Samuel blush and I'll just lightly blend only on the upper area of my nose bridge so it doesn't heat the mask and stain it a little bit you can put some on your eyes just to give it a little bit of definition I decided I want a little bit of eyeshadow on my eyelids because I'm feeling chirpy I'm going to be using my Morphe palette and I'm in the mood for something that is a little bit metallic Further define it with another colour just to tone it down. According to your mood, so if you don't want it too colourful, you can just stick to the basics. If you're feeling a little bit glittery, I have just put on some glitter. And I like to apply some eyeshadows on my lower lid. I'm just using like this colour, you know, this colour. Next, I'm using my gel eyeliner pot from Tony Moly. This is like a maroon reddish brick colour. Open already, must finish using right? If not, like keep opening new ones. I'm just going to apply the eyeliner at the end so that it looks like more natural. And I connect it to the top of my eyelid. So just focusing a little triangle. No flakes, just extending my eye. And then I fill in the inner part of my eyes with the liner. It's like emphasize without the drama. Next, I curl my lash. Moving on to mascara. I love this. Curl Fix by Etude House. This special curl ingredient that kind of lifts up my lash and curl it even further. And lastly, we'll move on to the lips. I love this because this is multifunctional. For one, the colours are amazing and it dries velvety matte so it's not like too oily or too dry and I'm just going to dab this on my lips. I don't like to put too much because whenever I remove the mask, I don't want to see my mask stained especially if my mask is a cloth mask that I bought and it looks really pretty so I do not want to dirty it. 
and I just smudge it with my fingers. So if any of you want to skip the lip colour, it's fine too. Just remember to put a lip balm so that your lips stay moisturised. Just in case, I'm just going to dab the lips on a piece of tissue paper. Removing any excess and my smudge-free makeup is complete. I know the lighting is a little bit poor and it goes automatically on and off whenever I move. I want you to love the transformation and have fun seeing results. If you want to get more tips on how to use beauty and makeup to change your life for the better, subscribe to all my social media channels. I have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube so that you don't get to miss out on any videos I upload. I want to see women succeed and transform to a better version of themselves to stand up for whatever reasons you need to they can actually help you in your life so if you have any questions ask me anything i'll be happy to start a conversation you can private message me or like comment in the box below and i look forward to seeing you for the next video